in listen only mode. Well, good evening, ladies and gentlemen, uh, for those of you that are joining us on the East Coast and even in Pacific time. Here in the continental U.S., it's also evening where you are, 6 p.m. on this fine October Tuesday evening. For those of you joining us in other parts of the world, well, good morning or good afternoon, as the case may be. Uh, welcome to using the Power Options tools for radioactive traders. Okay. Um, before we go into uh, this presentation, we're just going to give you a little bit of background of what is Power Options and what is radioactive trading. Okay. Power Options is a patented suite of search and analysis tools that are designed for self-directed options investors. Our tools will allow you to search the entire universe of options in less than a second in over 23 plus option strategies. These tools will also allow you to quickly compare the risk versus reward of the different positions that match your personal criteria. We also have some very powerful portfolio tools that are going to help you paper trade, track, and manage your positions. And as we'll see as it uh, relates to the radioactive trading method, these tools are a great time saver if you're trading radioactively. In addition to that, this uh, time-saving suite of tools that are offered on Power Options, we also offer countless educational articles and help pages, and of course, toll-free customer support and email support as well for any questions you might have about the site itself or the different strategies, the different option strategies that you may or may not be trading. The Power Options has been in business for over uh, 11 years now, and with the staff available, we have, of course, many, many more years of combined trading experience. Um, so the tools are a great time saver. They're patented search tools and analysis tools uh, to quickly help you find the positions that match your given criteria. Now, what is radioactive trading exactly? Radioactive trading is a complete trading methodology, a conservative trading methodology that was developed by Kurt Frankenberg. Um, he was a martial arts instructor who uh, lost um, his money following a covered call guru uh, several years back he had gotten involved with a covered call and trader and this first couple of months he was trading covered calls he made a decent return four percent one month about six percent the next and then he sort of made a mistake and he really didn't make a mistake he just follows the, guru, the guru's advice who told him that he should probably trade on margin to increase his profits and he said oh okay that makes sense and then of course that month he got burned and lost almost all of his life savings now what he did at that point instead of giving up is he realized that that money had to go somewhere so he kept researching other ways to trade and what he developed was a unique form of using a married put position long stock and long put to enter into limited risk unlimited upside profit potential positions in addition to that where it stands now is there are also 10 different income methods once the married put position has been entered there are 10 different adjustments that can be made doing different option strategies to lower the initial at risk amount and potentially bulletproof the positions. The blueprint is Kurt's full text, his full trading methodology. It describes the full method of entering into a position and of course the various 10 income methods. Now this offers a great uh, form for a synergistic combination. We have the patented power option search tools to find positions that match your personal risk reward threshold combined with a full trading methodology that's a protective option strategy to greatly limit your risk and have unlimited upside profit potential. In addition, um, Power Options offers you one-click links to further research, analyze, and review the what-if scenarios before you potentially open an RPM, what Kurtz calls a radioactive profit machine. And once you've entered the position, our powerful portfolio tools, um, Ernie has worked with Kurt extensively over the past several months to not only help you track these positions, these radioactive profit machine positions, but also quickly be able to review, analyze, and simulate the potential income methods that you could launch off of your radioactive profit machine. Uh, these unique analysis tools help you apply the income methods after the stock has moved in either direction based on your SEGA model, which is described for each income method in detail in the blueprint, of course. Okay? So, uh, who am I? I am, my name is Michael Chubka. I am the Director of Education here at Power Options. I've had the great fortune to work closely with Ernie Zarenner, the Founder and President of Power Options, and Greg Zarenner, the Vice President of Power Options, for seven years now. I handle all of the coaching sessions and most of the education on the site. Um, I've co-authored two books on investing with Ernie Zarenner, one on using naked puts for conservative investments, 
and one using protective option strategies, the different forms of married puts and collars that an investor can use. Now I don't trade all 23 strategies on the site. For example, I don't trade the short straddles and the short strangles because I believe they take on too much risk and I don't like being in naked positions even with stop losses in place. But I'm versed in all of the strategies and I can help you set up the tools uh, for any strategy you might be trading. But tonight, we're going to focus of course on just the radioactive trading positions using the tools to find the RPMs based on Kurt's default criteria and how easy it is to make adjustments based on what you want to see um, and also using the portfolio tool to not only track the positions but mainly to see the full powerful functionality of analyzing the possible income methods that you can launch off of your married put trades once you're tracking them. Um, I've been trading radioactively for over a year. It is not the only strategy that I trade in my portfolio, but I uh, have used most of the income methods and I have done radioactive trading. Actually, in about the past year and three months, I've been trading radioactive. All right. Now, before we go any further, before we go into the website, take a look at the Power Options tools, I just want to launch a couple quick polls here, one after the other. Um, for those of you in attendance with us this evening, I just want to know what is your experience with radioactive trading and Kurt Frankenberg? Now, is this the first time that you've heard about radioactive trading? Um, have you read Kurt's free white paper, The Sketch, which is available at RadioactiveTrading.com but never attended one of these free webinars? Have you read The Sketch and attended one of these webinars before, either this webinar or one of Kurt's presentations? Um, maybe you've read The Sketch but you have yet to buy the blueprint, um, or if you've bought the blueprints, read the blueprint, and are currently trading radioactively. Not all of your positions in your portfolio, but you do have some radioactive positions. I uh, just want to know kind of where we stand. All right, I'm going to leave this poll open for about another 10 or 15 seconds. If you haven't voted yet, I encourage you to go ahead and vote there. Okay, there we go. All right, so we have most of our votes in. The poll's been open for about a minute. Let me go ahead and close the poll, and I'll go ahead and share the results here. 50% um, of us have read the sketch and attended one of the free webinars. 25% um, have read the sketch but not yet bought the blueprint. And 25% have read the blueprint and are trading radioactively. Okay, that's fantastic. Now, in addition to that, you can, of course, guess where I'm going next. I just want to know real quick, what is your experience with Power Options? Is this the first time that you've heard about the tools on Power Options? Um, have you heard of Power Options before, but maybe you have not yet started a 14-day free trial? Are you currently taking a, a Power Options 14-day free trial? Um, have you already taken a Power Options trial but did not subscribe after your trial had ended, or are you a current subscriber of Power Options? Okay, so just let me know what your uh, experience is here with, uh, with Power Options. Let me know where you stand. While this is going on, I just want to remind everyone, we are showcasing using the Power Options tools for radioactive trading. But a lot of the tools we're going to focus on, the same type of navigation and interaction that we're going to be using for the married put screens to first open an RPM, and the research and analysis tools we're going to take a look at, running the what-if scenarios using the profit and loss charts, and linking to the portfolio tool and doing the analysis, these same steps, these same style of navigation that we're going to discuss tonight also apply to all 23 plus strategies that we offer. So even if you're trading other strategies more than radioactive trading, um, you're still going to get a lot of benefit out of this presentation. Okay, let me go ahead and close the poll, folks. I've left it open for a little over a minute, and I'll share the results with everyone. Well, this is great. Okay, 80% of you have not yet started a free trial to Power Options. Um, at any time, you can go to powerop.com, and we'll show that a little bit later. There's a form there right on the right-hand side. And uh, you just put in your first name, last name, and email address. You'll have full use of the site for 14 days. No credit card or any other information is needed. And 20% of you are currently taking a Power Options trial. Okay, fantastic. Let's go ahead and hide the results. And I've already mentioned this, but I'm going to just briefly review it. What are we covering tonight? Well, we're going to cover customizing the search tool based on what you might want to see. Um, on your radioactive trading positions, looking for radioactive trades. Remember, as I mentioned, that also applies to the other 23 strategies. We're going to analyze and compare some of the potential trades, show you some of the tools you can access with one click. We're going to use the profit and loss chart, which is also referred to as the custom spread tool, to run catastrophe, excuse me, catastrophe reports and what-if scenarios. 
We're going to look at tracking the position using the My Portfolio tools, uh, the management of the RPMs, looking at the different income methods and why one might be uh, why you might use one over the other, and of course we're going to show that simulate feature to simulate the potential income methods before you place the trade, and then with one click how you can also apply the various income methods. All right, so let's go ahead and jump into it. We're going to go ahead and open our Power Options platform. For those of you that are currently on a 14-day free trial, and I'm going to recommend that those of you who are not taking a trial right now, uh, go ahead and uh, at the end of this presentation, you're going to want to sign up for a 14-day free trial. Um, but when you first log on to your trial account, uh, this is the screen that you'll see. This is the main home page. You see here we're in the home tab of the Power Options suite of tools. Okay? From the main home tab, you can access a free coaching session. This is a free 35 to 45 minute phone conversation with either myself or Ernie. We'll answer all of your questions and uh, go through the site with you as we're doing tonight. Um, we have a lot of archived presentations and tutorials available in the Learning Center itself. And there's, of course, useful information available in the Power Forum and in the Power Options weblog. When you first start a trial, you want to follow these four steps that are listed here. Go ahead and uh, you could get a free user guide, a free printed user guide on how to use the site. Uh, there are some flash tutorials. Again, those are listed in the Learning Center to help you with the navigation. We have several archived webinars. And then step four, of course, would be your free individual coaching session. Of course, now you see that the navigation is essentially arranged by a tab menu feature. The My Portfolio, when I want to access uh, the portfolio to look at my current trades or analyze some of my historical trades, I'll click on the Portfolio tool to access, or the Portfolio tab to access the available tools. We're going to go over that a little bit later. And then we have several tabs that are arranged by strategy, Covered Call, Naked Put, and of course our main focus tonight is going to be on the Married Put tab. Now, if, if any reason um, you don't see a strategy, there are seven strategies, default strategies listed across the top. If you don't see a strategy that you trade or you just want to focus on one strategy, to adjust this and personalize the main home menu, simply click on the Other Strategies tab. And here you'll be, be able to remove various other tabs that you might not be interested in trading. And if there was a strategy over on the left here from the available strategies, we just have to highlight that, click Add to Menu. That'll now be saved um, in the Available tab once we removed another strategy. We just click the Save button, and now you'll notice at the top that the new tabs are arranged and selected based on what we just adjusted. Okay? So you can customize the view here based on the strategies that you traded. All right. Now, when I want to access the available tools in a given strategy, I simply click on that tab. Let's go ahead and click on the Married Put tab. Um, 50 about 75% of you, it looks like, have already read the sketch. Probably 100% have read the sketch already. So we know that our starting point when we're building a radioactive profit machine is to enter into that Married Put. However, Kurt, of course, does it in a unique way. Uh, what he does, instead of just buying a one-month-out put option that might be below the stock price, Kurt actually looks to go in the money by a certain range and also five to six months out in time to maximize the uh, availability to have a limited protection over an extended period of time and still have time to stock for the stock to move in his desired direction. Okay? All right. When we first click on the main strategy tab, we have our... Uh, pods here. The first one is just a general overview. Gives you an introduction to the strategy. For more information, you can link to that Married Put Strategy Help page, or you can check out information on fission or at radioactive trading to follow along with uh, Kurt's specific trading methodology. Underneath the Married Put tab, uh, the overview tab, I should say, is the Tools pod. This gives you a link to each of the available tools and a brief description. So first we have the patented search tool. This allows us to search the entire universe of options to find new opportunities uh, that match our criteria. Uh, sample searches, these are some pre-themed searches. If you're following the radioactive trading methodology, you really won't need to go into the sample searches screen. The two default searches you want to focus on are in the main search tool. The search by symbol tool, let's say I'm trading radioactively and I just want to look at the positions on Apple, for example, or on Google, or maybe I just want to look at some positions on IBM, I can go right into the search by symbol tool and compare the risk and reward for the different married put combinations on IBM 
on one page, see which one matches my personal risk reward tolerance. We can also link to the portfolio tool directly from the tools pod as well. And when you start your trial, you will have access to the back testing, the historical the historical search tool will allow you to search back in time to find positions that match your criteria. Or you can also, again, use the search by symbol tool historically. Um, if I wanted to go back several months and see what put options, married put positions, match my risk reward tolerance on IBM or another stock, I could look at that as well. The port position insurance tool, this is a unique tool. It applies some of the radioactive methods. Um, what this tool does is if you have a stock that has increased in price, let's say you have a stock that's maybe moved up 10 or 15 percent, the insurance tool will show you potential married put or collar positions you could get into right now to lock in a gain but still have maybe five or six months to have still unlimited upside profit potential. So if you think the stock might go up more, you don't want to liquidate it right now, but you try to want to lock in and guarantee some of the gain you have, that position insurance tool will help you analyze that very quickly so you can see what's available. Now, if you're just getting started, some other things, of course, you want to check out down here at the bottom, the third pod, we have the Married Put Learning Center. There's a four-part article that was written by Ernie Zarenner discussing the covered call challenge, a limited risk solution, of course, and uh, using power options for married puts and collars. Of course, most of you have already read the sketch, uh, but it, that's Kurt's free white paper. But if we wanted to get further information on the blueprint or that protective uh, option strategies book, you can link there as well. In addition to having the links in the tools pod, all of the available tools for a given strategy are also listed for us in the sub-menu right underneath the main tab. So here we can link to that search tool we discussed, the sample searches screen, the search by symbol as well, or we could link to the back test or the insurance position insurance tool using the sublinks. Okay? So right now, let's say that we want to look at that search tool. We're contemplating getting into a new RPM. After our Friday expiration, we might have some free cash available depending on positions that we liquidated or maybe got assigned. So we'll go right into the search tool. And when we first click on the search tool, we're going to see a listing of available married put positions. Okay, let's just start off and look at the default screen. You have the company name listed for you first. Okay, so here we see we have Apple Computer and we have our stock symbol. We're shown the last stock price and change. So today's close, Apple closed at 198.76. Uh, it was up about $8.90. Now we're shown, remember the married put is where we buy a stock and we buy a put position and following it radioactively, we're going to buy an in the money put, a put that has a strike price above the current stock price that's several months out in time, at least five months out in time. So we're shown that right now we could buy Apple at $198.76. And at the same time, we could buy the April 230 strike put, which has 179 days to expiration. Okay? The cost of this put, the cost of the insurance, is $37.95. All right? So that gives us a total net debit. If we bought Apple at the close, or if we bought Apple today at 198.76, and at the same time bought this April 230 put option, <clears throat> Our total cost would be $236.71. But remember, that 230 put gives us the right to sell to close our shares of the stock at any time between now and expiration at $230. So we're only risking $671 per share, or 2.8% of the total position value. All right. Okay, so, well, I pulled up the search screen. This was the first position that came up, it's sorted, I, I can see it now, it tells me up at the top that all months uh, sorted by percent maximum risk, so I know this is the lowest maximum risk. Well, this is a conservative protective strategy, protective stock strategy, so this is the one that came up at the top of the results. Is this the one that I want to go ahead and trade right now? No. I'm going to want to do further research and analysis on that, but before I do further research and analysis, I want to figure out how do these trades actually come up and do these match my personal risk reward tolerance, all right? And to do that, we're going to scroll down below the listed trades. Underneath the results table that's shown when you first access the search tool, we'll see the parameter field, which has our listings of our option information. Usually in the center here are our option criteria and our calculated um, criteria for the position. 
on the right hand side you have your stock criteria most of your stock fundamental and technical criteria and of course over here on the far left you have some different customizations you can do for range in or out of the money or what expiration time frame that you have now when you first start your trial if you've just started a trial and haven't accessed the cert screen yet when you access the search tool you might see a different default search here you might see a default search that says an initial values um, preset search okay to change it to the radioactive screen simply click the drop down menu next to the search settings saved as field you might have an initial value set already selected but just select the radioactive screen okay and that will automatically load the radioactive default criteria now these are not recommendations or suggestions on what you should go trade right now this is a stepping stone this is the general basic criteria that Kurt uses to open his new radioactive positions okay if you haven't bought the blueprint yet some of the things that are discussed in there are the reasons why we're forcing the position we're looking at all months to expiration but we're forcing it to be at least 150 days out in time uh, it's also I believe discussed in the sketch introduced in the sketch so is the reason why we're limiting it limiting the put option to be no more than 20 percent in the money here is our percent maximum risk field what we did is when we opened the search tool it scanned the entire universe of optionable stocks all 3200 plus optionable stocks and all married put combinations against those stocks and it showed us only those ones that match this default criteria so you see here we're looking for a minimum percent risk of 2.5 to 11 percent and over here on the right we're looking at a stock price between nine and two hundred dollars okay Kurt has some other stock information in here those of you uh, who have read the blueprint know that Kurt prefers to only look at positions that are in the IBD 100 and cancel them list so that's selected and further down here at the bottom in the simple moving average field we're only looking at stocks that are currently trading above their 50-day moving average okay stocks currently in an uptrend okay all right so what do I want to do now is if I want to make some changes we saw that Apple position at the top of the screen it was hundred and ninety eight dollar stock well let's say my portfolio doesn't allow me to trade stocks that are that high in price so what I'm gonna to want to do is I'm gonna click in the stock price screen okay here on the right hand side remember this is mostly our stock information we have a variety of fundamental and technical information here everything from percent earnings per share growth um, percentage stock volume we could look for stocks that have a certain percent dividend yield for example that is one of the 10 income methods by the way that's available in the blueprint it discusses using dividend paying stocks in this methodology but let's say that my portfolio my available cash only allows me to look at stocks maybe maybe trading in the fifty five dollar to sixty dollar range so what I'm simply going to do is click in this field here for stock price and I'm going to take the maximum value of two hundred dollars and I'm going to lower it let's say we only look for stocks that are trading between nine dollars and sixty dollars per share now I mentioned that Kurt uses this default criteria here to find positions um, as you know to use as a stepping stone I should say to help you launch your own personal screens to put in your own criteria that default percent maximum risk of 2.5 to 11 percent 11 percent is too high for me personally I only like to look for married put positions that have less than a 7 percent risk so to change that I'll just take that upper level again I'm gonna take out the 11 percent and I'm gonna change it to 7 percent so now I'm telling the system to now of those positions that match this original default search now only show me those ones that have a stock price less than sixty dollars per share and the total combination of stock plus put gives me a maximum risk of less than seven percent okay once I've made my adjustments I'll just go ahead and click the submit these settings button here at the top and now I've limited the total results when I first pulled up the screen um, I should have shown this before I did and I kind of skipped over that apologies down here at the bottom of the results table it shows us the total results I believe the first default search we had about 190 197 results now we've narrowed it down to 57 results keep in mind I'm still sorting my results from lowest maximum risk to highest okay but we've narrowed the entire universe the entire range um, of married put combinations down to only 57 total results okay so again 
let's just take a look at that top listing. I'm going to use the highlighter here. Uh, here is Scott's Class A. I've seen this come up a couple times in my screens. Uh, the stock's currently trading at 4301. We're shown that we can buy the March 50 put option for $8.60. Well, the stock at 43 plus the put at 860, this gives us a total net debit of 5161 or a max risk of $1.61 per share or 3.1% of our total value. Um, what I also like to see sometimes, I'm not in this position for the full year. I only have protection out to 151 days to March expiration. But I do like the fact that the stock pays a dividend. So I might get a chance to have some of that dividend be paid over the course of the next five months. Okay? But again, just because this tool, I'm sorry, this position came up at the top result, does this mean this is the one I'm going to go ahead and trade? No. Next to each position over on the far left, you'll notice that there's a more information column. There's a little blue button here next to each position. So before I decide that this is a trade I want to make, I'm going to go ahead and click that more information button, and this will allow me to link to the stock chart. I can go to the one-year snapshot or big charts. Let me pull up big charts real quick. This is a free charting software um, that we link to, and you see that we have it automatically pull up the stock that we were viewing. So SMG, Scott's Company A, came up. Okay? Over here onto the left-hand side, you see there are different features where I can adjust the time frame, for example. If I only wanted to look at a six-month chart or a three-month chart, for example, I could make that adjustment. I can also use the compare feature here to compare it against different index prices or different other, other stock symbols, I should say. And, of course, indicators. If I wanted to use things such as moving averages, for example, compare it to an SMA3 line or an SMA2 line, if I wanted to look at Bollinger Bands, for example, I could select that as well. Um, so what you want to do is before you place the trade, of course, check the stock chart first. We did tell the patented tool, the search tool we were using, to only find positions that were trading above their 50-day moving average, positions that were in an uptrend. So you know, without going into too many details, without discussing, you know, is this a stock chart or talking about different ways to analyze a stock chart, let's just say that we like this trend. And that's the first check. Okay, do we like the the pattern of the stock, the chart of the stock. If I took this first result, Scott's Class A, and I looked at that stock chart and it didn't make me feel comfortable, I didn't like the pattern that the chart was showing me, well, I'll just move to the second one and I'll review the, the position specifics, what is my maximum risk, what is my net debit, and then I'll go to the stock chart for that particular one. Okay? Well, let's say that after I, just, I looked at the stock chart and I decided I liked that pattern, but I've never heard of Scott's Class A before. I don't know what this company does. I'll link to the company info and I'll go to the profile. Maybe I'll take a look to see what the last earnings and events were or what's upcoming. Or I'll link to the news maybe, take a look at the headlines, see if anything's been released that might make me wary about the company itself. Okay? We talked a little bit earlier about that search by symbol tool. Okay, and let's review the Scott's Class A. I'm shown that I can buy Scott's Class A at $43.00. And we were going to buy that March 50 put for 860. And that gave us that maximum risk of $1.61 or roughly 3%, 3.1%. Okay? But let's say I wanted to compare it to maybe the March 45 put. Maybe I wanted to look at the March 55 put. Maybe there's a January 2011 put that I wanted to look at. So what I'll do, instead of linking now to the search by symbol tool and typing in my stock symbol, I'll link right from this page, that more information menu, and I'll click on search by symbol. This will link me directly to the search by symbol tool. And what we see is the position that's here, this position on the third line that's highlighted in red, that is the position we're reviewing on the smart search. Here's our specifics again, a net debit of 5161 or a maximum risk of 3.1%. As I go deeper in the money, if I decided to buy the March 55 put here on the second line, it's going to cost more naturally because I have more intrinsic value. So the option ask is 1320, but because that deeper in the money option has lower time premium, my net debit's only 56 is 5621. That's much higher net debit, but remember, I've now bought a 55 put, so I'm only risking $1.21 per share or 2.2%. So if I wanted to be more conservative, I could go deeper in the money. If we wanted to be less conservative, we wanted to take on a little bit more risk, 
in this case almost double the risk, but be closer to the current stock price, excuse me, we're shown that the March 45 put, we could buy that for 510. Again, this would make our net debit about $48.11. So we're risking more per share, $3.11 per share, or roughly 6.5%. But with the socket 4301, we have a 45 put option. So we're closer to the stock price, which means the break-even might be reached faster. Okay? But we're not trying to reach the break-even. We're not expecting the stock to move up, just hit the break-even point, and then close the trade. Well, those of us trading radioactively, what we're going to do is wait for the stock to move a little bit, and then we're going to look to apply those 10 income methods. We're going to review some of those and how you can do that in just a minute or two. Okay? Now, those of you that trade radioactively know that we can also lower Although we might increase our cost basis and we might actually increase the maximum risk, we can lower our potential cost per day by going further out in time. So let's say I wanted to go deep out in time and I wanted to go to January 2011. I want to see the married put combinations on Scott's Class A for January 2011. All right, so I just make the change and hit submit. We don't have any available. What I think happened here is I don't think this stock has released or has available January 2011 leaps. Um, we were looking at the March options. There might be a May. Let's just check that real quick. I could also go to the option chain and check to see availability. Okay, so it's possible. I'll check June next. Ah, there we go. Okay, here's a good example. We have some June options. Now, remember originally we were looking at the March 50 strike put option, that was the one that showed us in the smart search, where we'd have a 3% risk for 150 days. In comparison, we can take a look now, here's the June 50 strike put option that has 242 days to expiration, an extra three months to expiration. It's going to cost a little bit more, we now have a risk of, risk of $2.61, but we're still below that 7% risk that I personally look for, or 9% risk, we're still below that line um, that radioactive traders want to focus on, okay? So we can compare the different positions, um, look to see your time frame that you want to see, and uh, make sure that the time frame that you want, if I didn't think that Scott's Class A, I like the stock, but I wasn't sure there was going to be a strong move over the next two or three months, if I only had that March option with only 150 days to go, Maybe the June option is a little bit better. It gives me more time. I'm taking on a little bit more risk. Remember, this is the maximum risk we can lose. But I'm giving myself more time for the stock to grow and to make the different adjustments using those 10 income methods. All right. Let me close the search by symbol tool now. And remember, if you have a stock that you're interested in looking at, you can access the search by symbol tool directly from the main tools just put in your stock symbol and the expiration month you're interested in, and then you can quickly compare the married put combinations for your particular stock. All right? Let me close the search by symbol tool now. We'll go back to that main search tool. One of the last things that I always do before I enter a trade is I'm going to go ahead and from that more information menu, I'm going to click on the profit and loss chart here. Okay, this is going to give me the standard hockey stick profit and loss chart of what my married put position would look like at expiration. Okay, so f what we can see first is this hockey stick graph, this blue line here, I'm going to highlight with the numbers, this shows us the maximum loss, but this only occurs, that 3.1% maximum risk that we showed on that screen, on the search tool there for this position, that maximum loss only occurs if we held this position all the way to March expiration and did absolutely nothing, applied no income methods, made no adjustments, that's the only time we'd ever hit that 3.1% loss. This curved red line, what this is showing us is what the married put position will look like halfway between now and expiration. So on January 5th, 2010, roughly 77 days from now and about 75 days to the expiration date, we see that the put is not necessarily going to have a rapid decay. This is one of the reasons discussed in the blueprint why Kurt purchases put options that are at least five months out in time or more. It has a much slower time decay. So in this case, if, um, <clears throat> excuse me, if SMG, Scott's Class A, moves roughly to maybe about 46 or $47 per share, 
I'm sorry, by January 5th, we could have a potential gain on this position between the stock and the put without ever applying an income method or making any adjustments. But this is what the tool that I want to use to run those what-if scenarios and what Kurt refers to as the catastrophe report in the blueprint. He does it for the general position. We're going to show catastrophe reports for some of the income methods in a minute. But let's say I was curious of what would my position look like if I entered this SMG position. What would this position look like if the stock dropped to, let's say, $41 in the next two weeks by Halloween? Well, underneath the profit and loss chart, we have this field here for calculate expected profit and loss. And what I'll do is just click in the expected stock price field, and I'll put in a value of $41. And now I'll use this drop down to change the date to October, let's say October 30th, the night before Halloween, mischief night as some might call it. Okay, so then I'll just click calculate and it's going to redraw the chart for me. The curved red line now shows me what the position would look like on October 31st and here the green line shows me roughly, you know, if the stock, here I can see if the stock was trading at $41 what my potential gain would be, be about a loss of $84. I apologize there. Now, if I scroll down, take a, let's take a look below where we put in our fields. We see that we have a $201 loss on the stock position. We bought it at 4301 This is just for 100 shares, by the way. You can change that if you wanted to run the calculations for 200 shares or 300 shares up at the top. Um, but we have a loss of $201 on the stock, but we'd also have a gain our put option would move from about $860, or $8.60 per contract, to a theoretical value of $9.95. This is using the Black-Scholes pricing model to estimate what the price of the option would be if the stock was trading at $41 on October 30th. So a $200 loss on the stock, a gain of about $1.35 on the put. This would give us a total expected loss of $66 if the stock dropped to $41 by October 30th. And of course, if I wanted to know what would happen if the stock moved up to, let's say, $46 per share, a slight move, but let's say it moved up $46 per share on October 30th. Again, I'll just change that expected stock price value, click Calculate. Now, we see we have a gain of roughly $299, or $2.99 per share on the stock, but our put would naturally decline. We'd have a decline of about $225 per one contract, or $2.25. But that would work out to be a theoretical potential gain of $74. So I always run my what-if scenarios before I open a new married put position. Okay? Remember to do that from the skirt search screen on a position we were analyzing. We just use that more information menu and we'd click on profit and loss chart. Okay, so I changed my criteria. I ran a search. I found only those positions that matched what I wanted to see. Um, using that more information button, I then looked at the stock chart. If I didn't know the stock, I could have linked to the company information, seen what industry and sector it was in. Uh, we could have looked at the earnings events um, or the recent headlines, see if there's any news on the company. Always do our due diligence, of course. Um, after that, we link to the search by symbol tool to compare this March 50 strike put on Scott's Class A to the deeper in the money March 55 and the March 45, the more at the money position. And after that, we've linked to the profit and loss chart to run our what-if scenarios. Okay? So I've decided I'm going to stay with this position. I'm going to go ahead and enter that position with my broker. If Options Express or Brokers Express happens to be your trading platform, you can set up what's called the broker link here to link this position from the search tool into your Options Express account. Okay? So from one click, it will link immediately to your Options Express account on the trading field there at Options Express, and then you can place your trade from there. In the future, we do hope, of course, to add other brokers to that list. But if I'm not using Options Express or Brokers Express, I'll go ahead now and place this trade with my broker, and then what I'm going to do is click this Add to Portfolio link. This is going to take the position, and we're going to link over to that My Portfolio tool from the search tool. Now, the first thing that's going to want to know, that this the tool is going to want to know, is I have several uh, positions created. I have several webinars, I should say. Wow, I can't speak tonight. I have several portfolios created for different webinar presentations and different things I've worked with on Kurt um, and some other things for education. Okay, So if I'm creating a new portfolio, if I haven't created a portfolio before, I just use this new portfolio field and I just type in a name such as test. Okay, and We could place this married put trade into a new portfolio. 
what I'm going to do is actually link this trade into an existing webinar, existing portfolio I have called webinars. All right. So let's go ahead and check the radio button next to the portfolio, and then I'm going to click the insert button here down at the bottom. The first thing it's going to do for me, here's our stock position, SMG. That's for Scott's Class A. Here's the symbol for our put. That op information has already been copied over for us. Here's our price for the stock, 4301. That's copied over for us, and the price for the put. All I have to tell the system now is how many shares. Let's say I was going to enter 200 shares of SMG, Scott's Class A, and I'm going to link that, of course, to two contracts on the married put position. If I'm just paper trading, I can put in a commission fee of zero. But if I'm actually trading this and I want a more reflect, a better reflection of how the position actually works, just go ahead and put in, let's say, what my commissions are. Maybe $5.95 for the stock, maybe $12.95 for the option. Okay? Transaction date, well, that's already linked for us, October 20th, 2009. Let's say I placed this trade two days ago. I placed it on the 18th, which I couldn't have done because it was Sunday. So let's say I placed this trade last Friday on the 16th. So I'll just change the date, October 16th. Okay? And of course, if I did have different prices, after I got filled at my broker, if I find out I got the stock at a slightly lower price, let's say at $42.95 rather than $43, and I got the put option between the bid and the ask spread, let's say I got it at $8.55 instead of $8.60, I'll just type in that change. Once I have my information correct, we'll go ahead and click the Submit button. And this is going to link us. You'll see now up on the top, we're no longer in the Married Put tab. What's highlighted active for us is the My Portfolio tab, and we're in what's called the Profit and Loss Portfolios. This is what tracks our open positions that we've entered manually or entered as linked positions from the search tool. Now you see I have a variety of uh, Married Put positions. I have four Married Put positions entered. and This is one of the unique features um, of the Profit and Loss tools. You see that we have it linked by strategy. So my four covered calls, the stock is linked to the put. Here's a Chipotle Mexican Grill position. It's linked right together with the put option for the married put trade. Okay? There's a Coca-Cola position as well. Um, Lubrizol we opened uh, last week during one of these presentations. And here's the SMG position that we've just put in as well. Okay, and I also have a covered call position and a bull put credit spread you see down there further at the bottom that I entered during other presentations. Okay? Now, we can't do any analysis now. Uh, what I'm going to show you very quickly, here's our Scott's, oh, didn't click the highlighter, I apologize. Here's our Scott's Class A position. Okay? It shows us our quantity for the stock and the put. Here's our transaction date. The age, remember since we faked that we put this in on the 16th of October, this is telling us that we've been in the stock position for four days. And the days here in parentheses for the option, this tells us how many days we have left to expiration. Then we're shown for each leg what was the total net cost um, for 200 shares. It was $8,596 for the stock and $1,723 for the put. Next to that is our original issue prices and the total change since we've opened the position. Remember, I'm showing a total change now because I put in slightly lower values on the stock and on the option when I entered the position. Okay? Now, over on the right, so that's the original entry position for each leg. Further on the right here, we're shown the current price. Okay, so we didn't have much change. $43.01 and our put option, the current bid price. The natural bid price is listed at eight ten. So <clears throat> we have a total gain of $6 on the stock here in the gain loss column and a total loss of $103 on the put. That's just due to the bid ask spread. This had a wide bid ask spread, and before I would have placed the trade, I would have looked at that. And when I placed the trade with my broker, I would have tried to get a little bit different view. All right. Okay, so now if I scroll over more to the right, look at the top here. What I have selected in my portfolios is I have checked the box for view position analysis. What this does for me is it adds five columns over on the right-hand side. Okay? What these five columns show me is it shows me the position as a whole. Okay? So we have a column for position cost. Here, that last, this last line here, this was our position that we just entered on Scott's Class A. So the total cost for 200 shares of Scott's Class A stock at 4301 and the two put options at I believe the price we put in was 850 was $10,319. 
The next column is the liquidation value. Right now, if I sold to close the stock and sold to close the put at the natural bid price, I'd get back 10203 So this gives me a total loss on the position of $116 or 1.1%. Okay? Now, over here, the next column shows us this expiration value. This expiration value is showing you where your position would stand if the stock was trading at the same price it is right now, on the expiration date of the option. So for the married put, it's showing us what would the position look like if the stock was still trading at $43.01 on March expiration. Well, we'd have a total value of $9,940 or a loss of $325. That's for 200 shares, which would work out to be about $1.62 for 100 shares or 3.1%. That was the maximum risk that we saw when we ran the search, wasn't it? So this is just showing me that if I do nothing, the expiration gain or loss, if the stock is roughly at the same price, I'd expect to lose 3%. Well, we kind of knew that because that's what we looked at when we opened the position. All right, now up here, up at the top, you're shown that there's a liquidation gain and loss. Let's go to the top column here for that first position, which was the Chipotle Mexican Grill. Right now, that position could be liquidated for a 1.9% gain. That's if I liquidated the stock, sold to close the stock, and sold to close the put. Okay, well let's look at that breakdown, okay, of the Chipotle Mexican Grill, the first position here. Oh, I'm sorry, hold on one second, I accidentally hovered over that. Let me just take that out. There we go. All right, so Chipotle Mexican Grill. We put in an entry on September 2nd where we bought 100 shares of stock at $80 per share. And at the same time, a March 2010 95 put option was purchased at $20.10 per share. Okay, right now, Chipotle Mexican Grill has moved up $9. It's currently trading at $89.14, or a gain on the stock alone of 11.4%. Okay, of course, naturally, the put has dropped. It's dropped down to about $12.90, so the stock went up about $9.14, but we only lost $7.20 on the position. Now that the stock has made a move, it's trading at $89.14, those of you trading radi radioactively know we could now look to potentially reduce some of that initial maximum risk we had when we opened this married put by applying one of the income methods. Okay, So to look at the potential income methods that may be available next to this stock position, next to this married put position, I'm going to click on that more information button. This is where you're going to do most of your uh, research and analysis on the search tool and most of your activity in the portfolio tool. But I'm going to select position actions and position analysis. So I want to analyze this position. Okay. Now the first section of our position analysis screen here, this shows us our original position entry in the five blocks up at the top. If we scroll slightly below that, we're shown the original profit and loss chart here for our Chipotle Mexican Grill position. And over on the left, we have our mathematical calculations. Here was our original stock price. Um, the days that we have remaining to expiration there, this is 151 days out for the March option, we had an original maximum risk of $5.10 per share, or roughly 5.1%. Okay, so close to $100 total entry. The, the raw break even on this position was $100.10. Okay? All right, so let me go ahead. Let's scroll further down. The next section here that has it broken down to original position value, current liquidation value and future expiration value. This is just a further extrapolation of those five extra columns we just saw in that profit and loss portfolio. Remember I checked that box at the top, review position analysis. Um, if I wanted to look at more in-depth features for these, I could click on the details link um, underneath current liquidation value and it would show me the calculations that are used Okay, to determine the current liquidation value or that future expiration value. What's really powerful about this analysis page, let's scroll down to the bottom. Remember this Chipotle Mexican Grill position, the original at risk amount was $5.10 or 5.1%. So here we now see in that, I scrolled down a little bit too far, I apologize, there we go, let's adjust that. Here we're shown possible rollout opportunities and for radioactive traders analyzing a married put position, this means the different income methods that can be used. So our first listing tells us our stock has risen by 11.4%. We may now 
want to consider writing a covered call or writing a call option to create a caller, which is Kurt refers to as income method number one in the blueprint, and it shows us the opportunities of what we could do. Okay, so the stocks moved up to $89. Okay, depending on the time frame we were interested in seeing, we could select to sell potentially the December the December 95 call, which is 60 days out. We'd receive a premium of $2.25. The new maximum risk on the downside, okay, after we click that 225, would be 2.9%. So we take that original $5.10 at risk, drop it down $2.25 because we're collecting a premium, but we did obligate ourselves to potentially deliver shares of stock at 95 come December expiration. But this reduces our maximum risk from 5.1% down to 2.9%. If I wanted to go shorter term, if I wanted to go to the November 95 instead of the December 95, okay, um, I could sell the November 95 call for $1.45, and for 32 days, this would reduce my risk down to 3.7%. Now, why would you choose one over the other? Well, honestly, that depends on your SEGA model for income method number one. This is what Kurt refers to as the conditions, expectations, goals, and the action. And it's based on what your personal risk reward is and what your personal sentiment on this stock is. If you're in Chipotle Mexican Grill, what do you think is going to happen in the next 32 days? What do you think is going to happen in the next 60 days? What's, and this is described, excuse me, for each income method in the blueprint there. So that determines why you would choose, the, based on Kurt's rules and Kurt's methodology, why would you choose the December 95 or the November 95? It's based on premium alone, time. The reduction of the maximum risk per month, well, that's all described in the SEGA model. But before I place this income method number one trade, I want to potentially simulate the position. It's great to see this mathematically. Okay, I'm interested in selling that November 95 call option for $1.45. I know this drops my risk down from 5.1% to 3.7%. What does that really look like when I compare them side by side? Now, to do that, this analysis page, I'm going to click that More Information button next to this potential income method, this rollout opportunity, and I'm going to click Simulate Trade. This is going to take me to that Simulate page, okay? And what we're shown now is by numbers, of course, over on the left-hand side, in the red corner, I should say. If I had an announcer's voice, I would do that, but I don't want to bore you guys with that. But over on the left-hand side here in the red corner, this shows us that original breakdown of our Chipotle Mexican Grill position, okay? Um, our original cost basis, long 100 shares at $80, um, long one contract at the March 95 put. Um, down here, it shows us our total cost for the 100 shares was $10,010. Again, um, our maximum risk on the position was 5.1%. Our maximum profit with the married put position, remember we saw that we looked at the profit and loss chart, is infinite. The stock can technically go up to infinity. We haven't limited our upside gain with the married put, and right now we could close it that current percent return is 1.9%. Over in the blue corner, on the right-hand side, this shows us the breakdown of our trade details if we're already in that RPM, that married put position, and now sold to open the November 95 call. Okay, this would reduce our cost from $10,010 total on the position to $9,865. Remember what we saw on that analysis page, the maximum risk would have been lowered from 5.1% down to 3.7%. And the potential max profit at November expiration now would be $562 or 5.7%. What do I mean by that? Well, those of you who trade covered calls know that if I sell a call here, I've obligated myself to deliver shares of stock at $95 um, at November expiration if the stock's trading above that. Let's take a look at it graphically, and you'll see what I mean. This now shows us the curved red line shows us our married put position. If we just left the married put as is, stock plus put, and did not add this call adjustment to the position, this is what the married put would look like on November expiration. We're comparing it to the November, the potential of selling the November 95 call. So this curved line shows us what that married put would look like at November expiration. Why is it a curved line instead of a hockey stick graph? Well, remember, at November expiration, we did buy the March put option. So that leaves us 
four more months to go, about well, three more months to go, I'm sorry, December, January, and February, and into March, so about four more months before the put hits expiration. So we still have a lot of time value left. That's why we're seeing a curved line instead of a hockey stick graph. This is comparing it at November expiration. So again, red line shows us our married put, what it would look like at November expiration. And the blue line shows us what our position is going to look like if we sell a call, if we sell that November 95 call against this position right now, okay? Um, and that maximum return, see that peak at November expiration, that is the maximum return we could make. And it only happens if the stock's trading right at $95 at expiration. What would happen then is that the put would have the maximum time value and the call would still expire worthless. What happens after the stock keeps going above 95? Why do we lose profit? The reason why is because at November expiration, if the stock's trading at 100, we can still sell to close the stock at 100, but we're also going to have to buy to close the put for $5. The call that we've shorted is now gaining one-to-one -one with the stock, and also as the stock's moving higher, that put is losing more value. Okay? So you can go ahead.
course, was combining income methods. Okay? All right. Questions? Um, anytime, you can email us to support at PowerOp.com uh, for questions regarding the Power Options tools, setting up your search screens, managing the tools using the Managing your positions, I should say, using the portfolio. Uh, if you have questions about the radioactive trading methodology, you want to know when one of Kurt's uh, new, when the next new uh, webinar is coming up for Kurt, you can send an email to support at radioactivetrading.com. Or if you have questions about the information in the sketch or anything we reviewed tonight, you can send an email to either one, of course. Uh, you can also call us here at Power Options during market hours. Our toll-free number is 877-992-7971. Or our international number is 302-992-7971. Okay, I'm going to come back to the screen in just a minute. What I wanted to do is go back to Power Options real quick, and I'm going to actually log off here and go back to the main home menu. Okay, I'm going to log out here, and we're going to show the main home menu. Okay, all right. So, for those of you who have yet to start your 14-day free trial, I just want to emphasize that it is completely free. All that requires is first name, last name, and email address. And you can start your trial right away. Okay, you'll start to have access to all the tools that we reviewed tonight for all 23 plus different strategies. Okay, and there's other information on Power Options as well. Let me link over very quickly. Um, I'm going to go to RadioactiveTrading.com. We'll go over to Kurt's site real quick. Okay, just want to show you some of the features here. If you were interested. Um, if you haven't gotten the sketch, I did show that most of you have gotten the sketch. About 75% had read the sketch. But if you haven't read the sketch, you can link to it right here. On Radioactive Trading, you also see the new the schedule coming up um, for the uh, future presentations, Thursday afternoon, October 22nd. We're going to be hosting that free webinar for uh, the introduction to radioactive trading. If you haven't joined us for one of those before, that's typically hosted by Kurt. But I joined Kurt and help him out a little bit with the tools and power options and some of the discussion, of course. Um, okay, so RadioactiveTrading.com, you can sign up for the other webinars, make sure you get the sketch. Um, if you're interested in the blueprint, just go to RadioactiveTrading.com, click on the Products tab here, okay? The blueprint, this is Kurt's full methodology, as I mentioned, is $289 plus, uh, plus shipping, $11 for shipping. And there's more description down here on the blueprint itself. And if you already have the blueprint and you're focusing on one of those specific income methods, such as you normally focus, let's say, on three and four, you focus on five and six, you have these two-hour presentations um, on these specific ones. Uh, Profit with puts, that focuses on income methods number three and number four. The money net CD, that focuses on income methods number five and number six. And further down the line, of course, here, You've got the combining income methods. One thing I haven't mentioned, I should, if you decide, you know, we spent a good uh, hour here, hour plus, I apologize for going over, as uh, a couple of us know, join us before, Joseph, for example, you know I tend to go over a little bit, you know, 15 or 10 minutes over, and I thank you all for staying with me. Um, but one thing I didn't mention is that we reviewed the Power Options tools. This is for you radioactive traders who are more self-directed. If you're still in the learning process, you, you still want to get your feet a little bit more wet, you want to you know, get a little bit more knowledge, what you might want to do is go into the Fish and Subscription. What the Fish and Subscription does, it's sort of an advisory newsletter service. Really what you're doing is you're watching over Kurt's shoulder. You're watching him place his radioactive trades. He reports all of his trades, his winners and his losers, and all of the information that he enters into there. Um, and the income methods, that's all available in the Fish and Subscription. It's, about, it's only $69 per month. So if you're still training, you're still learning the radioactive trading method, you're not ready to be self-directed and start using the Power Options tools to place your own trades or find your own radioactive trades, maybe you want to check out Fishing for a couple months. Follow along with Kurt, see the kind of income methods he does. You'll also get access to Ernie's or Renner's portfolio. The radioactive trades that uh, Ernie makes are also included in the Fish and Subscription. You can follow along with those. You also get access to what's called the Plain Vanilla Portfolio. Um, this is a portfolio of married puts and using income method number one, what we saw tonight, just applying a call against that position. There are nine other income methods. The Plain Vanilla is essentially trades that Kurt and I virtually enter. We virtually trade them. We enter them during the webinars when we're running the search screen and then we'll make adjustments as well. We're not putting real money into the plain vanilla portfolio because we're only using income method number one. If I'm putting my real money in or Kurt's putting his real money in, 
We want to use all 10 in income methods. Okay, we want to use the full arsenal. So there's your further information on radioactive trading. You know the blueprint there. Um, if you want to look at some of those uh, CDs, if you already own the blueprint, you want to get more information on some of the particular income methods. Those CDs are a great way to go. Uh, for those of you just getting started, you want more information on radioactive trading. Join us for our free webinars. Kurt and I always host them Tuesday and Thursday during the week at 12 p.m. Eastern Time. And, of course, you can buy the blueprint right here as well. And, again, those of you that feel you are self-directed, you know, oh, sorry. Those of you who feel you are self-directed, of course, uh, <laughs> but you haven't yet signed up for a 14-day free trial, it is 14 days completely free. You'll have access to all the tools, the real-time quotes, and the historical. Again, just go to PowerUp.com. First name, last name, email address, start my trial, you're set to go. Okay, Joseph, uh, you sent the question in about the, uh, I'm sorry, about the subscription levels. I hope that uh, I answered your question there. Um, also, you <laughs> sent a little joke in, and I thank you for reminding me, because Kurt reminded me about it uh, this week, and I had just slipped my mind, but I know it's coming up on Thursday, so I'm going to have to razz him a bit about that during the uh, Thursday webinar. It's going to be uh, Kurt's birthday there on 1022, I believe. So we're going to have to give Kurt a little bit of razzing there. And uh, I'll try to tease him maybe to give something away for free, a little free birthday special from him to everyone else, see if I can come up with anything. Um, yeah, we've gone a little bit over, but I still have a couple minutes. And I'll stay online for a couple minutes. If anyone has any questions about what you saw tonight um, using the Power Options tools there, or if you have any questions regarding some of the features I discussed about the radioactive trading method, uh, feel free to go ahead and ask them. I'll stay open here for a couple more minutes or so. I'm going to pull back to the screen there with the support information. So if you think of a question later on tonight or tomorrow, remember you can email us or you can give us a call during market hours. Okay? So if you have any other questions, go ahead and send them over. I'll try to answer them for you. All right. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I don't have any questions coming in right now. I think I've answered all the questions there, um, or I might have answered them in the presentation. I know Ernie was joining me from time to time, kind of uh, handing some of the things that came through. Um, but I thank you for joining me this evening and for staying with me a little bit extra, a little bit over the regular scheduled time. This presentation will be archived. It's going to be available in the Learning Center. Remember we talked about that main home tab going into the Learning Center. And then you can click on the webinar link and you'll have different archives there for the Power Options tools, uh, Power Options with radioactive trading, and also some other strategy discussions uh, are going to be archived there as well. So you can check that out. This presentation probably won't be up until Thursday or Friday afternoon potentially. Okay. Everyone have a great evening. Remember, send me any questions by email or give us a call during market hours. I hope to hear from you all soon. Take care, have a good night, and happy trading. Oh, uh, Joseph did ask one thing. I apologize, Joseph. I think, I'm pretty sure that part two of the caller's presentation went up this afternoon at about 2 o'clock. So let me just navigate there real quick while I'm still on the site. Let me go back into the main screen there. Ah, this isn't the screen I want to apologize to me. Here we go. Nope, that's not it either. Please tell me I didn't log out of Power Options completely. I bet you I did. Ah, there we go. Sorry about that, Joseph. Um, okay, uh, it did log me out. I apologize, guys. Let me log in real quick again. All right, Joseph, I apologize. When you log on to the main home menu, last... In the last two weeks, our Thursday at 6 p.m. Power Options uh, strategy discussion was on collars. So go to the main home and click on Learning Center. From the Learning Center menu, you want to navigate to the Webinars link. And this will show you the upcoming webinars. Uh, we have one tomorrow at noon for Introduction to Power Options. It's actually going to be more basic than what we just did tonight. And then again, as I mentioned, on October 22nd, the Intro to Radioactive Trading webinar with Kurt. Um, over on the previously recorded webinars, you want to go to Option Strategies Archive, and there's Protective Option Strategies Part 1 and Protective Option Strategies Part 2. Okay, Joseph, so you can uh, check that out at any time. And uh, once you review it again, review Part 1 and Part 2, uh, as always, feel free to send me an email, give me some feedback, uh, let me know what you'd like to see more on or what you'd like to see less on. Okay? But uh, again, just for you others, um, other archived Introduction to Power Options archives here, Archives on various tools and power options are also available. And then scroll further down a little bit. Let me close these real quick.
There we go. Over here in the archive, you also have some of the radioactive trading archives. So if you wanted to watch an hour or a brief presentation on the radioactive trading methodologies, you can just click there in this archive, okay? All right. Okay, guys, now I'm really signing off, I promise. Thank you for joining me again. We hope to talk to you soon. Happy trading. Take care.